So believe it or not, yesterday I was actually going to film this video, but it started raining at the skate park, so I wasn't able to do it. But today, it's a better day. It's sunny, it's almost 80 degrees, it's hot, so should be in for a treat. So without further ado, we're packing our bags and heading to the skate park. I'll see you later. Yes, I will. See you later. Bye. Later. Adam's coming to the skate park with me, though. Let's see a trick real quick. Oh, shit. Nah. What's up? Speed dub gang. Really hurting my ankle. Hot in that car, dude. All right, we're at the skate park. We got Will here. We got Adam. And I don't know those people in the skate park. But yesterday I came here. It was not successful for the video at all. No. Kind of got lazy. But anyways, boys and girls, today we are doing an experiment. So first of all, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day, as always. And today, if you guys couldn't tell by the title and thumbnail, we are doing the chalk BMX tires. So we're going to be trying to make my tires into chalk, kind of to see if it will make, like, uh, you know, I'll be able to draw on the concrete with it, but I, I don't know, maybe. This is one of those fun experiments, not one of those experiments that will, you know, see if it works, like, uh, with Rain-X on tires. It's just one of those experiments that are fun kid friendly and uh, you know just fun overall so without further ado like I said I have a whole bag right here full of goodies I have chalk I have cornstarch I have water and I have containers I have everything to do this and I have a theory that I want to try out to make this work but I don't know we're gonna try we're gonna try so really quick before we even get started with today's video if you guys are still watching to this point that I recommend to go down below and hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and obviously leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it so far if you guys clicked on this video for a crazy little experiment long story short we do a lot of those on the shelf so hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell to be notified if I post a video like this for any video in general <sighs> okay let's get started so if you guys do not know chalk does not melt whatsoever so the way we're going to be doing this is I looked up online and stuff like that of, you know, how to mold your own chalk. Because, you know, if you can mold chalk, you have to turn it into a liquid or something of somehow. And the way we're going to do this is I have a cheese grater. I'm going to grate down the chalk into a fine little powder. And then after that, I'm going to mix it with a little bit of cornstarch for it to uh, really, you know, base into the, uh, base into like a liquid, I guess. So we're going to mix it with the, I said corn powder, didn't I? You did corn starch. We're going to mix it with the corn starch for it to turn into like some sort of a liquid powder. And then I also have some paint just in case the uh, chalk doesn't make that much of a, you know, color. Then we also have the obvious grinding materials, water's in my car. I think we're all set and ready to go. So I'm going to try to do this right next to my car, right next to the wheel, which is, you know, smart, but I don't really want to have all this uh, powder fly away with the wind. All right, I think we're gonna do a little bit of green first. One thing I just wanna make clear is that I absolutely hate the feeling of chalk, so this is gonna be fun. Oh, I hate this. Yo, I'm really risking it for the biscuit right here. All right, so next I'm gonna do a little bit of blue because, uh, you know, why not? Do I fucking hate the feeling of chalk. Damn, blue, let's do another. Oh, let's do a little bit of yellow up in here. All right, we got quite a bit of chalk powder right here, guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna splash a little bit of water on it just to see what happens without the uh, cornstarch. See if it makes some sort of a liquid or mold, but right now, water, see what happens. I mean, it's making some sort of a substance. Might be able to do this without the cornstarch. I mean, already that looks good. You guys can see that, it's like bubbling. I don't know why it's bubbling, but it is. All right, so I'm gonna test out and see what happens if we mix in a little bit of cornstarch with it. This might be a waste, might not be. Cornstarch may not be the way to go because it's making sort of like that uh, oobleck feeling. All right, so now I'm gonna add a little bit more chalk, a little bit more water, kind of create this a little bit bigger, and then we're going to put it on the tires. It smells terrible. No, no shit, you got cornstarch. Uh, uh. Yo, get the bottom of the spoon, wipe it off. Yeah. We got OCD? Yeah, a little bit. I made red and blue, no white. I'm not America enough, I guess, but we got the bike. I think I'm just gonna smear it on. That's the only way I could really do it. And then just wait for it to dry. And I think I'm only gonna do it to the front tire so we can actually 
create something cool because that spins and you guys get the gist. How long is this gonna take to dry? I don't know, I've never made uh, chalk tires before. Dude, I'm layering this pretty damn good though. Why well, you got a pink bag? Yeah, I stole it from my ex. Fair enough. So as you guys can see, she is all done. It actually came out pretty easy. There's a big glop right there. I don't know what that's from, but oh well. But now we just gotta wait for it to uh, actually tack up dry, and we're gonna go give it a shred. Dude, dude. Holy Watch out. Sh competition. Holy shit. Alright guys, she's in the sun right now, and I've never made chalk tires before, or even worked with liquid chalk, so I don't know how long it's gonna take to dry. But, for the meantime, I'm gonna get clips of everybody riding while this is drying, and we uh, should be in for a treat. Believe it or not, this is actually probably one of the less messy experiments I've ever done. It looks messy right now, but chalk will just wipe off my bike easily, so bless up. Been about five minutes, a little update. Ooh, it's getting a little harder. Definitely getting harder. We're gonna flip it around real quick. The sunlight hit it. Like I said earlier, we came to the skate park yesterday. It wasn't really successful, but I'm gonna throw in the clips that we got yesterday with a mix of the clips that we're about to get right now. So you're watching Rob and everybody else kill it. Leave a prediction down below what you think is gonna happen. Honestly, it's all up for games. This could just be a complete fail and just fall apart, or we can create something cool. Let's see it. Hey. Oh. Yep. Oh, oh my God. That's it. 20 or 30 minutes later, how's she feeling? Pretty solid. Oh, it's still like, It's yeah. chalky. Oh, sh Ooh. It's alright. I like the view of you better than him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. 360 out of that. Off that? Yeah. Like off the hub. Yeah. Go fast and just send it. One try. Just give it one f attempt. Give it one try. I can't. Just get the rotation going. I can't. Just do a 180 and just over rotate. That's all. Wow. That's it. That's, a great thing. That's it. I'm so scared of that. Right there, dude. That's it. Yeah. Well, there you go. There you go. The more I got to the end, the easier it got, yes, but. Exactly. It's all the mind game, motherfucker. It's harder in here than it is here. Yeah. yeah. No more dads. You gotta do one more. One more. Back to back. Go fast. Yeah. There you go. Appreciate the now pressure. Now you're gonna be doing that every single fucking time. Yep. First C tricks. It's way better than 180. Subscribe. Ew! Alright, he's going home. Time to go see if she's done. Let's see here. So the blue is definitely done. Yeah, I guess that's good enough. Feels like chalk, looks like chalk, tastes like chalk, it's chalk. Wanna taste it? No? It's alright. What's your predictions? It's gonna crumble apart like regular chalk. Before I go <laughs> ride this guy's, I want you guys to go down below and leave your prediction like I said. I honestly don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll see. We'll see. Could make something cool. Will, what should I draw? Your name. Chalk. Yes, uh, okay. okay. Well, she's, she's making a little bit of a mark. You see that? Look at this guy. She's making a little something something. So I think I should draw something out real quick. Subscribe. All right. Ready, Will? Let's see what happens. Oh, it's working. It's working a little bit, you see that? I was not expecting that. All right. Oh my God, 
side, but it's just making a mark. That's slippery. Gee, it's slippery. <laughs> Dude, it's just, this is working better than I thought. First time I'm riding a new bike. Yeah, that's true. Look at that, guys. Just marks everywhere. Look at that. That's the beginning. So, damage report, absolutely nothing, but I tell you what. Just like with regular chalk, it was very brittle. And like with regular chalk, if you ever roast something on pavement, you guys already know the drill. It just kind of disappears fast. So, I think this was a mission success, honestly. We were able to draw subscribe. So if that says anything, you guys should subscribe. I thought it was all just gonna fall apart right away, dude. Me too. Lasted long enough. It's like that's, that's my carbon footprint. All that stuff, all those lines. Alrighty guys, so with that, let me know what you guys think down below. I count this as a little bit of a mission success. We were able to write down subscribe and we were able to make a little trek throughout a little concrete parking lot here. So that, I'm gonna hop in the skate park. I actually ride my bike for a little bit. Probably not gonna get that many uh, clips because I'm still sore from last time's session, but we'll see what we can do. It's hurt my ankle, dude. Yeah, 100%. Well, you rip ankle. I'm just gonna replay the footage right here real quick. I'm pretty sure I just did some serious damage to my ankle. It kills. A little bit of ice, she should be fine. All right, I gotta go home and ice this ankle now. So as you guys saw from the clip that was, you know, 10 seconds before this, we are now handicapped. My foot, handicapped. On a real note, I think she's just rolled a little bit. I don't think there's anything seriously wrong with it. Still able to walk on it and stuff like that if you guys were wondering, if you guys actually cared. With that guys, that's probably gonna conclude this video. I kind of uh, got cut short, unfortunately, because of uh, obvious circumstances. But in the meantime, if you guys seem to enjoy this video and if your prediction was right about the chalk tires, let me know in the comment section below. Honestly, I didn't think it was gonna work as well as it did. I thought it was just gonna crumble apart kind of like with the concrete tires. I thought it was just gonna but if you guys seem to enjoy this video whatsoever, if you guys are still watching, then obviously you guys enjoy it. So go down below and leave a like on this video. I think I think we should aim high for this video. I think we should aim for like, you know, 500 or maybe 1,000 likes. Yeah, let's shoot for 1,000 likes on this video. So smash that like button down. Oh, that sounds so cliche. Hit that like button down below. So with all that, guys... If you guys have any other experiments you guys want me to try in the future, then let me know in the comment section below. I have a whole bunch of videos I'm going to be doing, so this is not it. This is just the beginning. So all that, don't forget to share with your friends, share with your homies, share with your dogs, share with your friends, help mom, share with your Uncle Bethany, and don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, obviously here reading that little notification bell. I can't even speak today. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which I don't know if it's going to be an experiment or not, but we'll see. Peace. <laughs>